What's up guys, Sami here back with a new video. In this episode we are diving into the exciting world of uh, aerial photography with the highly anticipated DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. I'm really excited to unbox this powerful device with you and we'll walk through the setup process step by step to ensure you're ready to take off. So basically the Mini 3 Pro promise next level experience with its advanced features and compact design. I uh, just want to say sit back, relax and let's jump into this journey together. Okay guys, so as we open the box, as the how we have the drone itself. And honestly, it's very lightweight, 249 grams. So that's the reason why I think and beneath that there is a controller i have the one with a built-in screen so you can actually purchase three different base kit of the mini 3 pro so we'll open and see it later and last but not least we have the accessory package let's open and see what is inside okay here as you can see, we have USB-C to USB-C charging data cable. Uh, it doesn't come with a charger, so you have to use yours. I mean, you have to use your own. And uh, we have the screw driver. So this will enable you to change your propellers. And we have spare propellers which you might need if you accidentally like broke the propeller on your drone so you have to keep this one therefore and finally inside the accessory package we have the user manual uh, it's a lot of them so you might as well read this or you can watch videos on the website you can go to the website and find this there personally i prefer watching videos instead of reading all this so now let's go ahead and see everything one by one Honestly speaking, it feels really light in my hands. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the gimbal guard and stickers from this drone. I'm just gonna slowly open this. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the foam here so they use this one to protect the gimbal and the gimbal assembly as you can see enables you to film both horizontally and vertically which means portrait and landscape and the f1.7 aperture make more light available to the sensor which make it easier to get low light footage and uh, images if you want to like take your footage at night time or when it's darker so it will be able you to capture that too let's talk about the sensors here so we have two sensors at the front two sensors at the back and two sensors at the bottom of the drone so basically these sensors provide real-time 
data for navigation, stabilization, and obstacle detection while we are on a flight. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put it here. Let me open the RC. Building screen, as you can see, at the back we have our thumbsticks and customizable buttons you want to see too. We have the record button and the one we capture a photo at the right top. We gonna take our thumbsticks and install it at the front top. So it actually feels fairly good in the hands. You feel like you're holding a gamepad honestly it's very comfortable and at the bottom we have USB-C port for charging beside that there is a door underneath that there is another USB-C port and a memory slot so the RC controller look like this okay Let's unfold the drone and remove the sticker one by one. While doing that, I want to give you guys information about flying a drone. So this drone is 249 grams. It's important in some countries to know you have permission to fly. Like for me, I live in Canada, so I'm required to have a certification permission from NAV Canada and City of Toronto. But since the drone weight is under 250 grams, it's categorized as micro drone, so I can fly it freely without a permission. So keep in mind the law of the country which you are living in before flying your drone. And let's talk about the battery. The battery slides up from the back by pressing the two buttons on the side. Uh, intelligent flight battery the aircraft can fly up to 34 minutes with uh, intelligent flight battery plus sold separately in some countries the time extends up to 47 minutes but the weight will be more than 249 grams so we're gonna use this one which is gonna fly only 34 minutes Okay guys, if you come this far, we are on the final stage of our setup. Now we have few steps we need to do. First, we will insert a memory card at the back of our drone. And once you've done that, you just press the button once and press one more and hold it. Now the drone is set on. So you insert the memory card. Next, we need to create an account. If uh, if you don't have a DJI account, you need to create a DJI account. Next, we have to activate the hardware. After activating the hardware, we need to install the big the big firmware update, which boosts uh, your intelligence flight features, and which is very important. It will take a couple of minutes uh, to install the update so have faith and take your time once you've done that you are all set to fly this drone so to wrap up my uh review the dji mini 3 pro uh, support all intelligent flight features such as active track point of interest paranormal quick shots, hyperlapse, spotlight, all these features you can like capture using the DJI Ministry Pro drone. Uh, thank you for watching my video. I'm gonna test this drone in downtown Toronto on my next episode. So 
like share and subscribe tell me your thoughts on the comment section until i see you next time signing out